Floor ledger is installed by either cutting the holes through the foam and aligning the bolts by hand, or by employing one of the commercially available ICF ledger systems. With either method, start by chalking lines on the wall to mark the location of the ledger board. Without a commercial system, you'll next cut out rectangles of foam to provide the ledger with the maximum amount of direct support from the concrete core. For a 2x8 ledger, this would be about a 6x6 hole. For a 2x10 ledger, it would be a 6x8 hole. Note how the bottom of the holes are angled downward. This helps ensure that they will fill evenly with concrete. Now, drill the holes in the ledger board and mount it in place by screwing it to the webs. Insert the anchor bolts, then hold them in place with nuts and washers. Some builders attach the anchor bolts to the ledger on the ground so it can be set in place as a complete assembly. Since the ledger is in direct contact with the concrete, it will need to be pressure-treated lumber or protected by a waterproofing membrane. This commercial ICF ledger mounting system uses plastic inserts that screw into the block. Holes are cut with a saw. The inserts are mounted in the holes with a special tool. This system makes its own marks for cutting out the foam, and being clear allows for visual inspection during placement. The bracket is held in place and tapped to mark the foam for cutting. The foam is then cut out. The bracket is held in place by its corner lugs and zip-tied tightly to short pieces of rebar on the inside of the block. Because both of these commercial systems keep the concrete from being in direct contact with the lumber, pressure-treated stock or waterproofing is not required.